Well, I'm Pam Holland, and I live in Adelaide, South Australia, so I've come over here to uh, be at the quilt show, and um, I'm sharing some of the quilts that I do. I do a lot of different genres, unlike some quilters who just do one style, I do lots of different styles because I, I really love doing it. And um, uh, my, I think probably the thing that I love the best is thread painting. So I love to draw um, on fabric, with thread and uh, the sewing machine. I don't do much by hand. And so most of the exhibition here uh, has uh, a degree of illustration and, and thread painting. Um, this is, um, everybody loves this cat. And um, this is my friend's cat. So what we've done with, the, with this exhibition, um, these are all my class samples. And this is the photo. I wanted to explain how I did it from the photo to the image. This is the same cat, this is the one we do in class. This is a little bit more detailed in class. This would be a five day class. This is a one day class. Um, and um, it's done just as if I'm painting with a pen, um, a, pa a paintbrush, and um, I use the sewing machine exactly the same. So I'm changing the colors all the time. Um, and um, it's an absolute passion, absolute passion. Um, this is a photo of a lady I saw at the International Folk Art Market in Santa Fe. And um, she allowed me to take her photo. And um, actually it's one of the first portraits I've ever done um, with thread. It's set on um, a vintage apron from Africa. It's about 70 years old and I loved it because it already had uh, applique and beading on there. Uh, and then I wanted to center it on here. So there's lots of little bits and pieces um, that represent Africa on here. But what I want to do when I do thread painting is to recreate it as if it's real. Sometimes thread painting is just covering the image, but this one I wanted to be able to capture the creases in her face and the expression on her face. So it looks pretty much like the photo. I wasn't exactly how, sure how I was going to do the wrinkles and things like that, but I managed it. Um, this one's a little bit different. It normally sits on a black curtain so that you can see, just see the ladies walking through. They're set on black um, mesh. But um, this is the picture I commissioned uh, a friend to create with colored pencils. It's an impressionist art style and um, Basically, um, I did the same with the quilting. So all of this here is drawn on fabric and then quilted over the drawing. It's drawn with pigment ink. And it's really pretty typical. It's showing an Outback, uh, Outback Australia, the quilt, a hanging of a quilt show. And we had actual models for the ladies to stand in place so that we could, we could get the, the images. But, um, I love the dogs and the cars and uh, the stance of the women. I think it's, it's lots of fun. And of course the colours too uh, are, are typically Australian. So this genre is just a little different again and it's, it's creating the image with cheesecloth. It's taken from uh, the photo of the lady up here. I met her in Guatemala and she made this beautiful, beautiful hupu for me. Um, and cheesecloth's a totally different method because, you know, it's really, really open weave. So basically what I'm doing is pulling pieces of the cheesecloth off to put onto the image to create the portrait. And, um, and then it's really, really heavily stitched down. So this one is what my students do in class. Um, and. Um, I was just working in some different areas to, to create a background with cheesecloth and um, just keep working on working until I get, the, get it just right. <laughs> um, this was an invitational piece. I was asked by the United, United Nations to create a piece for hunger and uh, it traveled the world um, for a year or so. And for me, it was important. Um, these people I had met, um, this is a lady from Mexico, a little boy from the refugee camps in Laos and an Indian man and all of them 
were asking for money. Um, obviously they don't have um, the benefits that we have um, and they're tied together uh, with this red line even though it's broken. And um, it travelled around the world. It was, um, it's not the prettiest quilt um, but it's, we can do quilts for all sorts of reasons and uh, it can be a political statement I think like this. So. I enjoyed doing it, um, but it was quite emotional for me because um, I've had children in our family who have been in a situation of hunger and uh, it's been, it was pretty emotional to do. So thank you for joining me on this little tour and uh, I do hope that you come to the next uh, event at uh, Quilt Week. We'd love to see you. Thank you so much.